Hey everyone, it's Alicia back with Stoker and Company and today we are making chocolate covered strawberries. It's still springtime, so what better color than our spring green and our sweet shop melting wafers. So to start off, go ahead and add your spring green melting wafers inside of a microwave safe container. I went ahead and melted it for us already. And I also went ahead and melted some of our um, ultra white in our sweet shop line just to kind of give it a contrast of color. So go ahead and start with your strawberries. Make sure they are freshly washed and dried. Um, having them room temperature is going to be the best way to prevent any cracking or elephant skin when you dip inside of your melted wafers. And then you want to attach your toothpicks here and this is going to help have control over your strawberry when you dip it inside to get that full coated strawberry. Go ahead and take your strawberry and your toothpicks and you're going to go ahead and stab it right in the middle of the stem ensuring that the strawberry is not going to go anywhere and dip it right inside. Go ahead and shake off any excess chocolate that's coming off of it and lay it down on a parchment paper. We are now going to dip a strawberry inside of our Sweet Shop Ultra White melting wafers. Again, shake off any excess that's coming off of your strawberry. Lay it down on the parchment paper. We're gonna go ahead and grab a piping bag as our strawberries dry and pour in our spring green. Make sure to tie a knot or use a rubber band so no excess chocolate falls off when you're starting to drizzle. Now that our strawberries are dry, you will notice that our Sweet Shop Ultra White Melting Wafers has a full coverage and our Spring Green has that spring green looking color as well as it fully coats the strawberry. So now that these are dry, we're going to go ahead and start to add our drizzle. Go ahead and grab your piping bag with your spring green inside. Using scissors, we're going to cut just the tip of your piping bag. Depending on how large you cut this, well, depending how thick your drizzle lines will be. So I always recommend to start off small and you can always increase the size. As a tester, go ahead and grab your bowl that has your melting chocolate and just do some test drizzles over it. This will show you the size of your cut, which again is going to tell you how big your drizzle size will be. So I am happy with this size. We're going to go ahead and start off with our ultra white strawberry and we are going to drizzle on top. To get a good drizzle, make sure to hold your strawberry still and using your dominant hand where you hold your piping bag go ahead and apply pressure make sure the pressure that you're holding is the same amount the whole time you're drizzling and you're going to go back and forth left to right and moving upward towards your strawberry stem or you can also start from the top of your strawberry working your way down and you go ahead and just go back and forth just applying the same amount of pressure the whole time all right, and we're going to go ahead and drizzle our spring green dipped strawberries. Again, make sure to get your grip on your piping bag, apply your pressure, moving forward, go left and right. And if you have a mess up, just keep on going. And that's it, everyone. We went ahead and made some chocolate covered strawberries in a beautiful spring green color, which is perfect for the season. If you'd like to purchase any of our sweet shop items, head to our website, stovercompany.com. And if you don't already, make sure to follow us on all of our socials at Stover Company. Thanks for watching.